Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Tuesday, the 27th of June. With Robert Murray McShane, we continue reading through Deuteronomy and also uh, the book of Psalms. And there's a link in the two readings, which also follows on from yesterday. Yesterday, I thought of how privileged we are to have God's word in our hands day by day. And this picks up on that idea. In Deuteronomy, Moses teaches a song to the people of Israel so that they can sing it and in singing it, remember the law and remember God. And the song begins, Listen, O heavens, and I will speak. Hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching fall like rain and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass like abundant rain on tender plants. And I thought, what an image of God's word and God's teaching that it comes to us um, as it comes like rain, uh, like dew, like showers on new grass, abundant rain. This is what will give us life. And you think of, what, of how wonderful the earth is in the, the, after the first rains in spring and you start to see life coming. And that's what God's word is like. If we can only just catch a glimpse of it and say, Lord, let me have your word. Let me have your commands. Let me have your, uh, the, the scriptures in my life in that way. And the psalmist picks up the same thing. In Psalm 119, the psalmist is writing a, a long psalm, all focused around God's word and, and his commands. And today reading 129 picks up the same theme. Your statutes are wonderful. Therefore, I obey them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I thought, here we have it <laughs> reinforced. Uh, we don't obey God's word because he demands it and he di dictates it. His word is wonderful. His, his laws are, and statutes are wonderful. They're good. They're for our best. They, they shape our lives in the best way. Therefore, we obey them. Uh, they're good for us. That's why we do it. Why do you eat vegetables? Because it's good for you. Um, luckily, vegetables are tasty. Luckily, God's word is tasty too. But we obey because it's good for us. Um, and we have God's word as a, this uh, life-giving water, this uh, resource for us. So be encouraged to, to read and to think and to pray and to hold on to the scriptures, knowing that in them we have God's richest blessings. Be blessed.